If you see a four wheeler, you will notice that all the four wheels of the four wheeler are perfectly balanced. And that is the reason why you can drive it very smoothly. If let's say if I make one wheel of that four wheeler bigger, another wheel smaller, then driving that four wheeler would be a challenge. It would be really difficult, right? So having that perfect balance is very important. And the same thing also applies to three phase electrical systems. If the load on the three phase electrical system is equal, then that system is called as a balanced system. But if the load is unequal, which is of course the practical case, then the current flowing through each phase would be different and hence that system is called as imbalanced or unbalanced system, right? Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a circuit using a circuit simulator of a three phase balance system. We'll understand the different properties using that circuit simulation. And if you want to get the details in the easiest way, then you need to watch the video. So now let us start by creating the three phase balance system first. Now the circuit simulator that I'll be using here is every circuit. So here we have taken three sources to create a three phase uh, system, uh, each of 50 Hertz. Now I'll also show you the property of each of this, uh, this thing. So you see the amplitude of the voltage is 400 volts, just random number I have taken. Frequency is 50 Hertz and the phase displacement is 120 Hertz. This is the settings are applied to all the three sources. Now what we are going to do is we are going to connect all these sources in a star manner. So let me also grab the neutral point here. So this is our neutral point. Now what we will do initially, as I said, we will be creating a balance system. So I will be adding a balanced load. And for simplicity, I'll keep the load as a resistive for simple understanding. So here I have taken three resistors. We will connect it in series with it. Now, since we also, it is necessary for us to measure the current flowing through each phase to check whether the load is balanced or not. What we are going to do is we are going to connect an ammeter in series with the load and our source. Now, always remember ammeter, we always connect in series in the circuit, right? Always remember that very important. So now let us connect it with the load. Load also we are going to connect in star manner. So let me connect it. And of course there will be a neutral here. Now we also have to measure the current flowing through the neutral. That's the reason why we will also add an ammeter in series with the neutral. Now this will help us to track if there is a current flowing in the neutral or not, right? Now, the only thing remaining in this circuit is to add a voltmeter to check the voltage waveform of each phase. So we will add voltage, a voltmeter across each phase. Now voltmeter we add in parallel in the circuit, right? Ammeter in series, voltmeter in parallel. Right? So now our circuit is ready. We have three sources of AC connected in star manner. So here we have connected balance load and what do we mean by balance load? You see the resistance value of each of the load is same. One kilo ohms is connected across all the three phases. Load again we have connected in star manner. In series to check the current we have connected ammeters and to check the voltage we have connected voltmeters in parallel. Also for neutral we have added an ammeter in series. Now we will first see the waveforms of uh, all the uh, voltages that is flowing through the system. Now, since the system is balanced, the voltage distribution, the phase displacement should be perfectly 120 degrees. If it is not, then that means the system is not balanced. We'll check that now. So now the circuit is ready. Let me start the circuit here and we will make it a little bit. Okay, that is fine. So you see the circuit simulation has started. The first thing that you will notice is the waveform of all the three voltmeters, right? So you see they are perfectly 120 degree apart from each other. The displacement is perfectly 120 degrees. This is the first property of any balance circuit. The phase displacement is perfect 120 degrees, right? 
that is first also if you find my youtube videos helpful then you can definitely get a lot of value from the different courses on electrical engineering that i have created on courses.theelectricalguy.in you will get all the details about all the courses using this website i'll provide link for that down in the description definitely go and check it out a lot of people are getting a really good output of it so definitely go and check it out second uh we also have to check the current flowing through the system whether all the three phases are carrying the equal current or not so for that what we'll do i'll just uh, skip the waveforms for voltage and we will add it for all the three ammeters now let us run so here again the waveforms you will see 120 degree apart placement and you see the rms value of the current flowing through each phase 283 milliampere 283 milliampere and 283 milliampere so the current flowing through all the three phases is perfectly equal and hence the system is perfectly balanced system this is the second property when the system is balanced the current flowing through all the phases is equal and that is what you can see right here the rms value is 283 now when we talk about ac circuits we always refer the uh, values as rms value right now why is that why do we do that if you want to know it i have a dedicated video on that explaining the uh, importance of rms value i'll provide link for that video down in the description you can go and check it out after this video right so that is the second important property the third important property is the current flowing through the neutral must be zero now why is that let me quickly tell you about that here so here is our three phase system that we we are talking you see the phase displacement is perfectly 120 degrees and we have r phase y phase and blue phase that is b phase so uh, let us understand why the current flowing through neutral should be zero in case of a balanced system so for that what we are going to do is we are going to take the reference of 360 degree position right here okay so if you notice at 360 degrees the current flowing through the red phase r phase is zero right this is the point so you see ir is zero now current flowing in the blue phase we will consider it is maximum of course it is not perfectly maximum but for simplicity we will consider it as maximum so the current in the blue phase or the b phase is maximum so positive i max is the maximum value of the current that we have right and the blue phase or sorry yellow phase if you see the value is again maximum but in the exactly opposite direction to that of blue phase and that is the reason why value at 360 degree of current flowing in y phase would be negative i max right clear understood the value that we have taken for r y and b phase now when we talk about neutral neutral the current is flowing through the neutral is nothing but the sum of these three currents right so current flowing through the neutral if you add 0 plus i max plus minus i max and that will give you i neutral is equals to 0 ampere this is true at any instance not only on 360 degrees you can take any of the instance on this waveform and you will getting the value of 0 ampere why is that this is only possible when the system is perfectly balanced right now in such situation even if you remove the neutral there is no problem you can see some of the loads like three phase uh, transmission lines that we have there won't be any neutral uh, you can also take examples of three phase uh, motors they are perfectly balanced load and hence they also do not need any neutral in that right so definitely you can remove the neutral in such situation and there won't be any problem now let us go back to our simulation and let us check if the current flowing in our simulation uh, via neutral is zero or not So here is the simulation let me start it again so you see here what uh, let me put a waveform for this also so you see the red value that will come here so see the red value it is zero that means the system is perfectly balanced there is no current flowing into the neutral so that is possible only when the system is perfectly balanced and what do we mean by perfectly balanced it is again connected to the load on the system very important to remember that if the load is perfectly balanced if the load is taking the equal current then the system will be perfectly balanced right so that is the 
perfect balanced three phase system that we just discussed now interesting things starts happening when you remove or when you you know make some unbalance in the load let's say if this is not 1 kilo and this is 2 kilo ohms and something like that the load is not balanced now in that case the system will definitely perform differently than what we just discussed and how it performs what is the situation in that case does the neutral will carry current in that situation or not we are going to talk about that everything in the next video so make sure if you haven't subscribed then do subscribe and also if you want to get the notification you need to turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any of the updates so definitely do subscribe that also helps the channel to grow further and also motivates me to create more and more such content right so i hope you understood the three phase balance system how can you create a circuit simulation of it if the video helped you then do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning